we believe that those are very important results that can help to understand how we can better treat the patients. Montreal doctors at St. Justine's Pediatric Hospital are hopeful as research shows a treatment for Crohn's disease is keeping children out of hospital, avoiding more reoccurring disease flare-ups and improving their long-term health. What we have seen in that study is the relapse rate during follow-up is very lower than what we had in the past. Inflammatory bowel disease, also known as IBD, like Crohn's and colitis, inflames the lining of the gastrointestinal tract, stopping the body from digesting food, absorbing nutrition, and eliminating waste in a healthy way. This causes stomach pain, cramping, severe diarrhea, weight loss, and more. The delay to diagnosis remains an important issue because it also impacts how the disease evolves. So when we have uh, those uh, symptoms, we always want to eliminate like uh, infectious uh, bowel disease because it's most prevalent than IBD. 10-year-old Michael Carpentier is one of over 7,000 Canadian children diagnosed with the disease. His mother says at his worst point, he had fever every single night, unable to digest food, stay awake in class or play with friends. I couldn't even go to the kitchen to get myself something. I was doing nothing. Sometimes I could go to school, but often I couldn't. After countless hospital visits across the province and even Ontario, Carpentier landed at St. Justine's where he was hospitalized for 30 days. The disease affecting even his teeth and joints. He had over 50 ulcers from his mouth all the way down to his anus and over 30 swollen lymph nodes in his stomach. His diagnosis was extremely severe. Since working with Dr. John Shu after a tough first year on the treatment Remicade, the monoclonal antibody therapy medically known as anti-TNF-alpha, Carpentier is feeling better than he's ever felt. He receives treatment around every five weeks. When I get out of treatment, I feel good. My mom thinks I'm full of energy. When we use it very early, so it's at the time of diagnosis, we see that the relapse is slower. In red, we have the patients who are exposed very early to the medication, and in blue, the patient who will receive other medication before. So the difference is 20% of the rate of relapse, and also the time to the relapse is uh, shorter in those exposed later on the medication. According to Crohn's and Colitis Canada, in the last decade, the prevalence of Crohn's and colitis in Canadian children has risen more than 50 percent. The cause of the disease is still unknown and there's still no cure. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.